Hey, good night. How are you guys? Pretty good? Hello. Hi, Michelle. How are you, girl? Yeah, very good. I can hardly hear you now, Michelle. A little bit much better, but if you you sound like if you're far away. Really? Yeah. I don't know why. Maybe it's not. Yeah, yes, now it's much better. Very good. Uh, now it feels like if you're getting closer to the microphone. That's good. That is much better. I think it's because I'm not using... What? What are you not using? Earphones. I don't know how to say. Earphones? Uh, oh, yes, earphones. No, earphones. No. Those are not earphones. Those are headsets. Yes, but I'm used... The one that you put on uh, the plug uh, yes. inside your ear. Oh, okay, so those are earphones, yes. So you are not using it or you are using it? Not using ah, that's the reason my why. computer. Um, I don't know, but uh -huh. it's uh, when I insert the the, the earphones. I uh have -huh, yes, the computer don't. No me lo reconoce. They do not recognize it. Oh, yes. maybe it's because there's something. Uh, it, there's a problem with the plug. Is that it happens only with the um. When you're trying to connect them to the computer, or that happens also when you're trying to connect it to a cell phone or to a tablet. Only with, with the computer. Mm, maybe, maybe uh, uh, and it only has one port, right? Only there's one space to plug in. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a false between that? Yes, I think. But sometimes when I'm, how do you uh -huh. say reiniciar? Reinitiate it. Uh, when I re Reinitiate, <laughs> reinitiate, reinitiate my computer. Mm -hmm. Um, it works. Uh, works, but a for, little bit for a while. Yes. Oh. And then I have problems, and I don't know. Yeah, th maybe there's like there's a false because when you reinitiate a computer, it automatically it, that uh, it is plugged already in the computer, so the system recognizes it. You can ask Jose, for example, he's an expert in computers things, and also <laughs> Mr. Carlitos Areva, that he's an IT department. But that had happens to me with the cell phone, with the ear, with the headset. Sorry, that in my computer we I have three ports. But one of them recognizes the headset, one of them does not. <laughs> so I had to like try to switch between one another. And that's, that is what I do, uh, Michelle. I try to reinitiate that computer uh, with the headset's um, plug already. So when the computer reinitiates, it automatically detects the, the headsets. And I don't have problems during the class, for example. That, that it happens if it's an old computer. I don't know what is your model. Is an HP? I don't know. Lenovo? No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that could be. That happens because my one is also is not a brand new computer, so that could be the reason why. Right? We need the new one, right, Michelle? <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. But we do not have the money right now. <laughs> No, but this computer I bought in. You bought it, uh huh? Gen in January. On January this year. Y yes, and have problems, and I don't know why because it's new. It's brand new. Maybe, maybe you need to change earphones. Yes, maybe. Maybe, or you can try a USB headset like this one. Those are really. They're not expensive. They're like. Uh, Sometimes you can find it for 11 bucks in Radio Shack. <laughs> and that is not an advertisement, gonna, okay? So it's not an I'm advertisement. Going to try. try them on and you see that you, it will work. Because I prefer headsets. I prefer headsets. Well, I already get used to it, but not years in a call center, to be honest with you. That is part of my outfit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I really get used to the headsets because I use them all the time. But you know what? I found it for a really good price. 
and there's a, a lot of kind of headsets, uh, but you don't need like the complicated ones, right? You just need a one that it works and that's good, but it has to be USB. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so we're ready, right? We're ready to start the class. Hey, how's the day going, guys? So far, you good? Hey, today is Wednesday. One more day, one more day. Tomorrow, we're gonna finish this class. Woohoo! Isn't it amazing? Yeah, right? Time passed really fast. Hey, guys, do me a favor. Did you have time to hear the TikTok that I sent to the WhatsApp? Yeah or no? Eduardo? Jose? Yeah. <laughs> How is it going, guys? How was it? Was it good? Yes, it's, it's good, but I don't understand the, the <laughs> fault. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Hey, guys, and that's that's the way they speak. That's the way they speak. It, it, it was hard, right? Yeah, I cannot hear you, Jose. Yes? Really hard. Really hard. My best recommendation would be that, to, and then it was, and they have like subtitles. Can you imagine without those subtitles? <laughs> No, so my best recommendation would be like listen it again and again and again and again because that is the way the bronze guys talks. That's the way they do. So you need to get used to it, to that pronunciation, because they, they have their own slang, their own language. I, I I knew I knew a new time. <laughs> what a new time? Yeah, the B one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that con that conditional one, right? <laughs> Yes. Yeah, and it doesn't mean that there's a specific time. That means that that, that guy will do something in a moment of his life, right? <laughs> yeah, it could be a first and past future. You'll be able to be lying and say, because he's a liar, right? I, I like that for you. <laughs> very good. But do you like it, Carlitos? Yes, I like it. Very easy. The, the, the speaking is very fast. I know. I, that's the way they speak. That's the way they speak. And they do have a, a specific um, a language. You know what? I used to have a, um, a co-workers who actually, both of them, they come from a Latin people, but they have grown up in the States. So basically they are American, right? So, but they, sometimes, sometimes they come from the New York, I think. I think it was the New York, but one was from the East and one was from the West side. So when they are start talking between each other, everybody, all the teachers like, what they are talking about because they do all have their own like uh, how can I say their own type of communication if I can say that so you know what only between them they do understand because none of us would understand what they were talking about they were like it was like what can you imagine we were like what they're seeing because they do have their own uh, how can i say código <laughs> if i can say that that was really hard yeah, yeah. yeah. the street the street language <laughs> from the very bottom man from the very bottom yeah so that was really hard yeah but i uh, but i learned a lot of <laughs> this language with them <laughs> yeah definitely and i'm so happy about that <laughs> because you need to right it's part of the culture so you need to learn that by heart. Yes, very good. For example, there, eh, they do not ask you, hey, Humberto, would you like to play basketball with me? They do not say that. They say, hey, dude, wanna play? Like that, like that. Hey, dude, wanna play? Dude, what's up, dude? Hey, dude. Hey, compa, yeah? Compadre, hey, dude. Hey, dude, wanna play? Yeah. Wanna? Yeah, this isn't wanna. It's going. No, it's a one two. Wanna? Wanna play? You like, like that? Wanna play? And you said, are they saying want to play? Yeah, wanna play? Yeah, you see? And they use a lot of his nose, their nose. <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. But not like French. French, they are like, they use a lot of nose and the sore throat. A lot. All right, very good. So I will send it to you guys. Another thing. All right. I will send you today somebody booking a reservation for a hotel. I will send it to you today, that one. But it will be a different accent, okay? I will send it to you today, I promise. 
All righty. Uh, what about you, Eduardo? Did you like it? Yeah, I like I liked the video and the pronunciation is very difficult. It is. Uh, mm -hmm. By the way, I listened again the British exercise and now I, I think that I understand better. Exactly. Much better, much better. Exactly. The first time you said, like, oh my God, I just understand 0.05%. But the next time you will understand it much better and much better and much better because your ear is get used to that pronunciation. That's why you yes. got to do it more, more than one time. <laughs> yes, I, I think that I get used how is the pronunciation and, and for example, when they, when the British said uh, double O, double E, double, double, mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning I, I didn't understand, but now it's very clear. Yeah, sometimes guys, instead of zero, we use O. For example, you can say 305-330-930-93. You can say 305-330-9093 or 9093. So you can, they can say O for zero or the word zero as a number. So you need to get used to it. When somebody say O, it's not always the letter. It relates to numbers. So that is really important that you get used to it as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what was it, what did you do, Eduardo? The the um the listening part for the names or the listening part for the numbers? Uh, both, but both? Uh, okay. I repeat the, the listening part from the names. Yeah, that is one of the most complicated because there are some names that they are like a long one. But the second time I, I can do the You could do it? Uh, oh. Yes, yes, every single last name or name. That was really cool. Okay, yeah. and congratulations. Very good job. Continue working. I will send a lot of things for you today, okay? I will send you a lot of listening activities. Today I'm going to send it to you also the street, okay? So you get used to the street addresses also. That is really important also. Uh, what about you, Umberto? Did you have time to listen to that audio or no yet? Hello, teacher. Yeah, I listened to the, the audio, but uh, I didn't understand because uh, he he talked uh, speaks. very fast. He speaks very fast. Yeah. I know. I know, but that's the way they are. Yeah. So try to do it. Try to listen like Eduardo did. Try to listen two or three or five times. So if you need a 10 times, you gotta listen it. Okay, and you will see that you will understand much better, much better next time. Okay. Yeah, but what about the other ones, the, the um, names and the numbers? Have you t uh, tried them once again? Uh, have you heard them once again? Sorry, Umberto. Sorry, what, 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 what was the question? You see, <laughs> I also <laughs> speak fast, may I apologize. No, I was asking you if, if you tried as well to listen one more time, the information that I sent to all of you in regards to the numbers and the names with the British accent. Have you I tried know. them? No, please, oh, do. please do, you gotta do it. Okay. That will help you a lot, okay? You need to develop the listening skill and try to understand People from different countries is speaking the same language they're learning, which in this case is English. It's really important okay. because sometimes guys, they open their mouth and you understand all the words that they said, but sometimes they do not. And that is the hardest part. Even in the States, even in America, for example, you can listen an American guy, American guys, that's the way the, the United States people called, call themselves, right? American. So when you, so when you heard the word said American, you, it's that somebody's from the states, okay? Even though we are the, in the same continent, right? In the same continent, but that's the way they call themselves, American. So, um, for example, if you listen somebody from Washington D.C., it's not the same if you're listening somebody from Houston, Texas, or if you're using if you're listening somebody from Louisiana, for example. They're totally, totally different. Or from New York, or from the Bronx, or from California. They are totally different. And they are in the same country, you see, but from different states. 
So I will try to send it to you, okay? Uh, even though uh, we're going to finish this model, but I will skip sending to you all the information that I think or I consider that it will help you, okay? So try to do it when it's possible, when you have time, because that will help you a lot. I wish I could be with you 24 <laughs> seven, but I can, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I can. Right? Because you're busy, and me too, right? Everybody has a life, of course. So, but whatever I consider that it will help you to develop the skills that you need to, or to help you reach your goal, I will send it to you, okay? Ah, and you know what? I think I have information related to law, Umberto. Really? Yeah, I think I do. Let me make let me uh, make my a quick research on my files, and when I find it, I will send it to you. Okay. You sent information yesterday. No, 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 no. It's an information that I do have from my own related to law things. Ah, okay, okay. Because I know I that will it. help. That will help you. Okay. Okay. So, but but be, be patient because I need to check on my X files. <laughs> you see? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Okay. But as soon as I I can find it, I will send it to you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Okay, guys. Today we're going to have so much fun. We keep on uh, developing the listening skill because that is one of the hardest part that we have, right? Have you seen it's really a hard part? It's one of the hardest things, but we need to develop. If we practice, we're going to keep on, keep on uh, improving a little bit, okay? So right now, what I want you to do is to listen some, um, I don't know, some, some requests, not favors, some requests, okay? And this is the scenario, guys. It's a receptionist that receives like a lot of calls from different uh, people, but asking to give a, a specific information to Jeff. So practically is the receptionist uh, boss. So first of all, what I want you to do is just to listen each request, each by then, and I want you guys to let me know who you think uh, left that message to Jeff. Was his sister? Was his mom? Was a friend? was his boss, was his girlfriend, etc. okay? So that's what I want. I don't want you to pay attention or what was the information they left. I just want to pay attention or the general idea and just gave me the, the answer. Who left that message? That will be the question. Who left that message? And just let me know who was it, okay? No, that is all that I want right now. We're going right now to develop and try to focus on listening part, but getting details for a specific information, okay? That's what we're going to do right now. We we'll keep on uh, working on listening part. So uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Uh, let me share my screen and when you have it, uh, or when you can listen it, let me know, okay? Got it? Got it? Got it. Okay, cool. That's what I need. All right. Page 19, exercise 9. Can you listen? Yes. yes. Okay, cool. Pay attention, guys. Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. 1. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Okay. So we gave like a general information. Okay. You could catch ideas, right? Okay. Now, guys, I played all the five uh, requests in once. 
but right now I will play the audio one more time and I will pause after each request, okay? So you can have come time to think who gave that information. It was a friend, it was the girlfriend, the sister, the mother, the boss, etc. Okay, let me play it one more time, okay? Page 19, exercise 9, Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff, Part A, listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. One. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Okay, guys, who you think that left that message to Jeff? A friend? A boss? Sister? A friend. A friend. A friend. Exactly. Very good job. Now listen to the second request. Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? What about this one? Could be the girlfriend. Uh, that might be. It's a possibility. Any other uh, suggestion, sister? guys? I could be the sister. Yeah. Okay, or continue. Friend. Or friend. Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Uh -huh. What about this one? The coach. <laughs> Are you, you said, yo, listen. <laughs> Jeff is picking her up, uh, yes. after basketball classes, right? So a who friend. do you think? Are you Can sure? The little sister. The little sister, okay. yes, exactly. Okay. Very good. Four. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. What about this one? <laughs> Girlfriend? Yeah, I Girlfriend, I don't yeah. know. If that is it sounds really familiar to you, right, Humberto? <laughs> 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 and also Eduardito. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't have happened to you, okay? <laughs> All right. Five. Number five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. What about this one? Who left that message? Boss. The boss. The boss. Jeff, boss, right? Or his boss. Very good. And the last one. Six. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? What about this one? Who you sure, think that okay. left that message? Teacher? teacher? Yes, teacher. Exactly. I think, guys, that number two, I think it was Jeff's mo uh, mother. Yeah. Okay. Now I will send you something to the WhatsApp. And I want you, I'm going to play the audio one more time, but I want you guys to pay attention on each request. And there will be like a little space that you need to like put the word that is missing, okay? It could be either tell or it could be either ask, okay? Whatever, or if. So I will send it to you right now. And just let me know as soon as you're able to receive it, okay? Bear with me for a couple of minutes. You know what? Sometimes I'm making mistakes because uh, <laughs> where with the WhatsApp, you just put your your uh, your finger right to click it into uh, the block, etc. And I try to put my finger on the computer. Can you imagine? <laughs> it sounds like crazy. Like oh my god! Sometimes I got confused. All right, bear with me for a moment. There you go. Okay, let's just be wait. Okay, so bear with me for a moment. Let me pop it up. Hey, guys, did you receive it? Yeah, right? Yeah. All yeah. right, cool. Okay, so now you have the six requested with you. So I'm gonna play the audio one more time. And what I want you to do is basically, guys, focus on each request. I will pause after each request so you have time to think what was the word missing, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes.
Page 19. Can you hear it? Yep. Okay. In yeah. Exercise 9, Perspectives. Could you tell Jeff? Part A. Listen to the messages Jeff's assistant received while Jeff was away at lunch today. Complete each request with ask or tell. Okay, either ask or tell, One. guys. Could you tell Jeff that Tony is having a party on Friday night? Okay, so what is the word missing? Tell. 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 Okay, tell. do me a favor, Umberto. Can you please read for me the entire question with tell? Could you tell Jeff that Tony's having a party on Friday night? Very good. Let's continue with the number two. Two. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? Okay, what about number two, Eduardo? This was ask or tell? Ask. 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 Okay, can you please read it for me, question number two? Okay. Could you ask Jeff what he would like me to get him for his birthday? All righty, very good. Let's continue. Number three. Three. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? All right, what about number three, Patti? Was ask or tell? It's tell, teacher. It's tell. Okay, could you please be so kind to read it for me, the question? Okay, yes. Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Very good, excellent. But do me a favor, Patti. Say it with confidence, con confianza. Number three, once again. You can do it, girl, you can do it. Okay, Je Jeff is picking me up after basketball practice. Can you tell him not to be late? Very good. You sound like Jeff's sister. Yeah. So nasty igual que la hermanita, eh? That's good. <laughs> Can you tell him not to be late, please? <laughs> All righty, very good. Okay, number four. Um, Neftali, number four. It was tell or ask. Neftali? For me, uh -huh. for me, it's tell. It's tell, okay. So can you please read it for me? Read number four. Okay, miss. Please tell Jeff that I want him an apology. I forgot about our date last night. Very good, excellent. Okay, number, you. you're welcome, thank you. Number five, Adela, <laughs> tell or ask? Tell. Okay, can you please read it for me? Okay. Can you tell Jeff to return my call? Mm -hmm. I need to know when his report will be read, ready. ready. Very ready. good. Okay, do it again, Adela, but with more confidence, like Patty. Go ahead, you can do it, girl. Can you tell Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Very good. That's uh, that's Miss Adela. Excellent girl. All right. And last but not least, Michelle. What about number six? What you got for us, girl? I I don't know what I think is ask. Ask, okay. Hey guys, are you agree with uh, Michelle? Ask or tell? Uh-huh. Okay. Don't remember. Don't remember. No. Don't you tell. I haven't played Ask. that, guys. <laughs> Four. Let's listen. Please tell Jeff that I owe him an apology. Tell. I forgot about our date last night. Tell number four. Very good, guys. What about number five? Five. Can you ask Jeff to return my call? I need to know when his report will be ready. Okay, and now number six, Michelle, six. let's double check. Could you ask Jeff whether he can come to class on Friday night instead of Thursday? Very good, so you were right, Michelle, it was ask. Very good. Hey, guys, excellent. 
Excellent job. You see, in this um, exercise, we have practiced not only that pronunciation, but at the same time, we have practiced that listening skill, and we have learned two new words, tell and ask. Sometimes we ended up to confuse them, right? Sometimes we use tell instead of what we're supposed to use ask. And sometimes we use ask when we're supposed to use tell. Why we're talking about telling ask? Any ideas? Any ideas? No? No? Oh my goodness. Why everybody's so quiet today? What happened, Carlito, Adela, Maria del Colindre, Merci, Olguita, Michelle Mavela? Hmm? Eduardito, Jose, what's going on with you? ¿Qué les pasa? Uh, teacher, I think we will use tell when we are talking with another person uh, face to face. And maybe you can use us for by phone. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You have an idea, but basically, guys, no. <laughs> you, <laughs> you use tell and ask uh, to, to leave a message to somebody that is not pre physically present. For example, do you remember the listening part that we have heard right now? All the messages, who received all the messages? Who? Yes, he's yeah. The receptionist. The receptionist. The receptionist. So ex exactly. So in, in, in all the messages, where to who? Jeff. Jeff, tell me something. When you listen to that conversation, was Jeff in the office or was not in the office at the moment not that they receive the it? Exactly. So guys, all the requests that you have heard in the listening part are for Jeff that was not in the office at the moment, all the people called. So, you know how we call those in English? We call, mm hmm indirect requests, okay? So right now, guys, today we're going to talk about uh, indirect requests. We're going to talk about requests with statements, uh, requests with imperatives, requests with just now questions and requests with WH questions. Ha those are like the, the present way and how we can transform those sentences into indirect, okay? Indirect, that means somebody, external, third party, left a message to another party. So that means I called and I gave all the messages to Jose and, Ho and Jose took all the messages that was supposed to be for Eduardo, right? So it would be like that, like a triangle, if you can say that. So that's what we're going to learn today. You know what? It's really easy. It's not complicated. All that you got to do is to like um, double check what is exactly the form that they use it in the direct way and how you can transform direct statements into indirect ones. That's what we're gonna learn today. Hey, did you check the information that I sent it to you before this class? Yeah, or no? Yes. Okay, the were the indirect requests, right? Do you have there? Yes, teacher. Okay, that's what I want. Okay, so just click on that because I'm gonna explain it to you right now. But before we continue, any questions, guys? Sometimes they're good? Everybody's quiet. Okay, so let's far, so good. Sure. So far, so good. Yes, Eduardo. Are you gonna say something? Are you gonna ask something? No. No, I think it's somebody it's else. Okay. I okay. I want to say something. So okay, say it. Throw it. I think that is a, a tell is when we are to say someone to say says uh, any anyone more and when uh -huh. you use us is to uh, ask for a question to someone ah you have an idea you have an idea jose i will explain it right now but everything guys is related to uh to give or to provide information to somebody else that is not 
physically there at the time that you left the message. For example, a hey, Adela, have you received a phone call for example for your husband while your husband was not at home? Mm, yes. Yes. Okay. So maybe his boss, right, or mother or sister called, and you answer, and you and somebody asks, "Hey, was uh, what is the name of your husband?" Sorry, my apologies to ask you that. The name? Huh? Uh huh. Andres Rivas. Andres. Mm -hmm. Okay. So imagine that I'm from the from the Banco Agricola Bank. Okay. Yeah. Do me a favor, you have an ear and headsets, right? I do have headsets as well. So pretend that I'm going to call you, right? And you're going to answer. Ring, ring. Can you please answer? Okay. Good, good morning. Good, good night, sorry. I think good night. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm calling too late. Uh, my name is Sylvia and I'm calling from um, America Central Bank. Is uh, Mr. Andres at home? No, he isn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I speaking with uh, his wife? Yes, I am. Uh, could you please be so kind to provide me your name? Mm. Adela. Adela, Miss Adela, thank you so much. Good night. Uh, the reason why I'm calling today, Ms. Andre, Mr. Andres, is because um, uh, we want to let him know that we approve his request and uh, we will send a brand new credit card to his home on Friday afternoon. Can you please let him that message? And if he has any doubts, he can call me back. My name is Sylvia. Could you please uh, uh, write, write it down my telephone number? Okay. Okay. Tell Let me know when you are ready. Tell me. Okay. My telephone number is area code 305 330 yes. 9093. There's no extension, it's a direct line. Okay. So once again, my name is Sylvia, and I tell Mr. Andres that uh, we're going to send a credit card, a new, a brand new credit card on Friday afternoon. Okay. 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 I, I give you message. Thank you so much, and do you have okay. a pleasant night? Okay. Bye bye. Okay. You too. Bye. Crook. Okay. We hang up the call. Okay. So, I I ask her, could you tell? Mr. Andres, that, you see, that was the message. Could you tell him that, okay? What was that direct, um, what was the direct statement? Okay, hey guys, focus on the first part of the little square that I sent it to you. The direct question was Andres, Andres is with the uh, accent at the end, right? In Spanish, Yes. Andres, okay, Andres, okay. Um, okay, wait a minute, let me check it out. This one is really, yes, it can be cox right on. Okay. Okay, Sylvia, okay, in this case, me. <laughs> okay. Sylvia is sending you the... Sylvia, okay, so sorry, I will keep, I put it a little bit much, much bigger from back. <laughs> it's sending you the brand new credit card on Friday afternoon. Okay, guys, that is the statement. You see, example number one in the chart that I sent it to you. Andres, come. Sylvia from back, right? Just to make it specified, is sending you the brand new credit card on Friday afternoon. Okay, this is the direct way. How can I transform that information into indirect way? Okay, take a look at the first example. What was the first example, guys? It was with can or with could? Hmm? We could. Could. Oof. Okay. So, I'm going, I'm going to put it in an Android way. You, I said, 
could you tell or ask? Tell. tell. Okay, could you tell Andres? Whoops, Andres, that Sylvia from back will is going to is going to send him a brand new credit card on Friday afternoon. Okay. Okay, you see? The first sentence was direct way. Andres, comma, Silvia from back, you send you the brand new credit card on Friday afternoon. Now, I'm going to say exactly the same way, but as an indirect question or indirect way. So that is the first example that I'm giving to you guys. When we have a statements, a regular sentence, we use indirect questions by that. You see? We have that. Could you tell Andres that? And then you put the rest of the information. If you see, guys, could you tell? Could you tell? It is the, the, the part that we always put as an indirect way. But can you see, guys, that in the first statement, in the indirect way, we have that into parentheses? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Why? Because you can use that or you cannot use that. And the meaning will be the same. Could you please tell Andres, Silvia, you can see, I'm going to read it with that. Could you please tell Andres that Silvia from, going, from back is going to send him a brand new credit card on Friday afternoon? I use that. But I'm going to say exactly the same question without that. And listen how it sounds. Could you tell Andres, Silvia from bank is going to send him a brand new credit card on Friday afternoon? Am I saying the same, yes or no? Yes. 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 So guys, in a regular statement, if I use that, you can either use it or you cannot use it and the meaning will be exactly the same. Okay? Let's practice. Uh, Carlitos. Yes, teacher. Carlitos, Jose uh, is having uh, a party on weekend. Okay? This is a statement. Carlitos, coma. Jose is having a party on weekend. En teoría, right? Hubiera querido así. Muy bien. Entonces, chicos, ¿Cómo me trasladan eso en indirect question? Lo voy a escribir. Yo le digo José, right? No, Carlitos es Carlitos. José is having, is having a party <laughs> on weekend. On Saturday, bye. Uh -huh. On Saturday. Okay, who can transform this sentence into indirect way? El que, lo que acabamos de ver ahorita. Anybody? Olguita, yes. you want to try? Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Uh, could you tell Carlitos that, ton, that uh, Jose, uh -huh. could you tell Carlitos that Jose is having a party on Saturday? Exactly. Fantastic. Very good. That's the way it is. Are we okay, guys? Estamos bien ahorita? So far, so good? Always we have to put cool, uh, cool you. Or, could you? Or, or, can, or can be can. It could be can, yes. It could be can. Okay. Or can you tell, or could you tell, yes. Either or is fine. Okay. Okay, and you can use that or know that. Now, this is the first example that I send you guys in the little chart that you have in front of you. Let's go with the second one. Hey, guys, what is the second one? Can somebody tell me? What is the second one? Imperatives. Imperatives. Okay, do me a favor. When do we use imperatives, right? When do we use imperatives? Remember, uh, Adela, when you tell your kids, be quiet. Do your best. Order. It's an order, exactly. So in this case, guys, we're going to use imperatives. Okay, so what is the example there? The example is also Jess, right? We're going to talk about Jeff. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to put somebody else's name. 
Humberto. Sorry, Humberto, that I use you. Humberto. Don't be late. ¿Verdad? Don't be late to class. <laughs> don't be late. No, don't be late. ¿Sí? Hey, ¿dónde está la orden? Where is the order? What is the imperative, guys? ¿En qué parte está el imperativo? Allí, en la sentence. Where? Don't, don't be late. late. Don't, don't be late. late. Sobre todo en don't. ¿Por qué? ¿Se recuerdan que el imperativo se usa el verbo? Don't be late. Yeah. Be on time, etc. Right? That is the direct way, if you can say that. Can you see, guys, on your right, that if you want to transform an uh, imperative direct sentence into an indirect sentence, what we are going to use? Ahí está. Infinitives. 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 Exactly. Okay. So let's practice. In this case, you can use can. You see, Humberto, you can use can as well. Mm -hmm. Can you tell Humberto not to be late? Mm -hmm. Can you tell Humberto not to be late? ¿Qué es lo único que pusimos ahí para hacer la indirect one? ¿Qué es lo único? Can you? Mm -hmm. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? Exactly. Can you tell? Lo demás, ¿verdad? Pues, si ustedes se fijan, that is negative way, right? Pero también podemos ponerlo de manera positiva. Por ejemplo, you can say, Humberto, be on time. Sí, that is positive. Sí o no? Okay. Entonces, ¿cómo podríamos poner esa en indirect way? Ajá. Uh -huh. Humberto. <laughs> Can you tell Humberto? Can you tell me? <laughs> Can, you tell... Can you tell Humberto be on time? Can you tell Humberto? Mm -hmm. To be on time. To be, to be on to time. To be on time. Very good. That is the second example, guys. What about, ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? Porque nos faltan dos más. Yes, so far the good. <laughs> Ay, el, creo que no. Vamos a ver. ¿Quién me, el, el, Humberto, dame un ejemplo de esta que acabamos de ver. Híjole. ¿Para qué le hiciste? Dile algo. No, no, no. Dime, dime la, la direct way and then tell me the indirect way. Puedes uh, usar a cualquiera de tus compañeros. You can use anybody. In the class. Eh, Carlos, eh, do not smoke. Okay. Very good. Carlos, do mm -hmm. not smoke. Okay. How can you transform the same idea into an imperative way using infinitive? Can you tell Carlos eh, not, mm -hmm. not? Uh -huh. uh, not to smoke? Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. Can you tell Carlos not to smoke? Mm -hmm. Hoy dímelo otra vez, pero más seguro de ti mismo. No, not to smoke. Can you, can you tell Ca Carlos not to smoke? Very good. Pero ¿sabes qué? Uh -huh. Ex exactly. Can you tell Carlos mm -hmm. not to smoke? Very good. Pero así como más preguntas, right? Can you tell Carlos can not you, to smoke? Can you, Carlos, not to be smoke? Not no. to smoke? No, not, if not, porque ya le not to be a smoke. No, yes, to otra smoke. Cosa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shame on yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Very, very good. Okay. Very good. Ya ves que se puede. Yeah. Pobre Carlitos. Qué barbaridad. <laughs> no se preocupe, Carlita. Y después le voy a explicar qué es eso. Pero no es malo. No es nada malo. No se preocupe. Muy bien. Vaya. ¿Estamos bien aquí? Yes. Okay. What is the third possibility to to indirect requests, guys. Ya hemos visto statements, ya hemos visto imperatives. What is the third one? Yes, no question. Yes, no questions. Si ustedes se fijan, everything is present, right? Mm -hmm. Entonces, muy bien, just no question. What are, guys, the two auxiliary verbs that we use for just no question in present tense? 
Ajá, ahí está. Which ones are they? ¿Cuáles son? Can and could. No, 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 no. En, en el direct one. So, if la... or whether. Tampoco. Estamos en, ah. just, estamos en just no questions. Estamos en el lado izquierdo. On the left ah. side. Take a look at the two questions. Sofía, do, are you free on uh, Friday? Um, and he says, Sofía, do you have my number? So which ones are the verbs that we use in those questions? Do, B and B. B, exactly, and do. ¿Por qué? Porque son los dos verbos que ocupamos en una yes, no question. Acuérdense que un yes, no question es un yes or no answer, ¿verdad? Simple as that. Muy bien. Entonces, ¿cuál es la primera? Patty, can you please read for me uh, the left side, la parte izquierda, donde dice just no question abajito, below that. Okay. Sofía, are you, uh, are you free on Friday? Okay, the, the second one as well, please. Sofía, do you have my number? Mm -hmm. Very good. Entonces, Ben, Sofía, ¿cómo? Are you free on Friday? ¿Estás libre el viernes? Eh, Sofía, ¿tienes mi número? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Okay, how can you transform, guys, yeah. those two questions, just no questions, into a direct way? ¿Qué es lo que usamos? Hoy sí, Olguita, ¿qué usamos? If and whether. If and whether. If, sí, whether. Ya si, sea si, que sí o sea que no. Exactly. Ya sea que, whether, ya sea que. And if es sí. Exactly. For example, the first one. Are you free on Friday? ¿Cómo transformas eso en under a question, José? Para que no se duerma, José. Sorry, I, I feel well. Yes. I, I had a headache. Oh, you have a headache. I'm sorry. Did you uh, take any pill? Yeah, I took uh, some minutes ago. Ah, that's why you feel dizzy. Okay, I understand. Okay, are you are you okay or would you like me to ask somebody else? Okay, I can try it. Okay, do your what best. The question? the question is, Sophia, are you free on Friday? Can you ask Sophia if she is free on Friday? Very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. Si tú te fijas, el if she free on Friday, ese es el, ese es, ¿cuál es el message ahí, guys? ¿Cuál es el message? ¿Lo ven que está en negrito? If ¿Cuál es el message? Free, if she's free on Friday. If she's free on Friday. O sea que estamos usando el if, ¿sí? El if o el weather. ¿Y cuál fue lo que añadimos? Can you ask Sofía, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Entonces, cuando usted está haciendo una pregunta, ya sea con una yes, no question, o si usted se fija, una WH question, como la que estamos viendo también al final. ¿Qué es lo que usamos? Tell or ask? Ask. Ask. ¿Ven que, ven que, ven que es diferente? Si es una just no question en una direct way, o es una WH question en una direct way, si usted lo transforma mm -hmm. a indirect way, usted no va a usar tell, usted va a usar ask. Eso es bien importante. No me va a decir, can you... Tell Sofía if she's free on Friday. No. Can you ask? Porque usted quiere saber si ella va a estar libre el viernes. O usted sí. quiere saber si ella tiene su número telefónico, right? No, usted quiere decirle. ¿Verdad que no? Entonces, eso es bien importante. It's logic. It's, it's logic, right? Of course. Exactly. Eh, mm -hmm. Michelle, can you please read, read the second question? But and the indirect way on the, uh, do you have my number? Okay, uh, could you ask her whether or not she has my number? Very good, whether or not. Ya sea si sí o no tiene mi número telefónico. Mira, preguntarle si tiene mi número telefónico. Pero si usted se fija, we didn't use Sofia, right, on the Andrew question. ¿Se fijó? What do we use? Hair. Hair. Exactly. Or she, en este caso, ¿verdad? Si usamos el if. O sea que we... Instead of using the name of the person, guys, we use the pronoun that substitutes the name of the person, okay? Mm -hmm. eh, 
Vamos a ver, vamos a hacer teacher, algo. Teacher, yes. teacher. Y, y en yes, the first que, in the first question mm -hmm. that you asked Sofía, we can replay the name Sofía by her. Yes, so, si, si tú y yo sabemos can... de quién estamos hablando, yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. Vaya, vamos a hacer, una, vamos a hacer algo. And vamos a hacerlo de indirect way y también lo vamos a hacer de indirect way, este ejemplo que acabamos de ver. Um, Adela. Yes. Ajá. Are you free on Sunday? Hasta ahí, ¿verdad? Yes. Adela, are you free on Sunday? Ajá. Ajá. Eh, Eduardo. Yeah. Yo le acabo de decir a ella, Adela, are you free on Sunday? ¿Cómo tú lo trasladarías en Andrea question? Could you ask Andrea if... Adela, Adela, Adela. Adela. No le cambie el nombre. Sorry, Adela. <laughs> Could you ask Adela if she's, she's free on Sunday? Ok, Adela, Eduardo said asking if you're free on Sunday. You see? Yes. Uh, yes, I yes, am. I am. <laughs> you, you need to ask uh, 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 Mr. Andres Eduardo. Okay? All right. <laughs> to avoid any, any problems, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it, just for future reference, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. ¿Ves cómo, ¿Ves cómo va la cosa? It's easy. Solo que tú tienes que ver cuál es la form de la direct way para tra trasladar en la indirect way. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahorita? So far, so good? Yes. Okay. What about WH question? Who can read it for me? <laughs> eh, Maria del Carmen Colindres, ¿cómo estás? How are you, girl? Hopefully she's there. Hi, teacher. Hi. Okay. Eh, can you please read for me the first question with WH questions? ¿Qué tienes ahí en el chart? Mm, the second. Uh, no, donde dice WH question, del lado izquierdo. ¿Lo tienes ahí? ¿Tienes el cuadrito que mandé en el, en el WhatsApp chat? Do you have it? Yes, I have. Va, hemos visto donde dice Andrew Request. ¿Lo tienes ahí? Mm, yes. Ok, entonces quiero que me digas donde dice WH Questions. El último, la parte de abajo, pero del lado izquierdo. Ok. Uh, Jeff, when when does the party start? Okay, Jeff, when does the party start? Guys, what is the information that you would like to know? According to that question, what is the information you want to know? Uh huh. ¿Qué es lo que quieren saber, guys? When when the party starts. When, when the party, the party starts. starts. Exactly. Okay, so how can we transform that question into an indirect way? Eh, María del eh, Carmen Colindres, read it for me, please. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Again, please. Can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Can you uh, can you do it one more time, please? <laughs> <laughs> can you ask Jeff when the party starts? Ah, yes. Now, yes. ¿Sabes por qué te pedí así como casi como 10 veces que repitieras? <ríe> ¿Por qué? Ya te voy a explicar por qué. Te dije que estos oídos de tísico no son por gusto. Nueve años en call center de ocuarde. ¿eh? Casi me quedo ya. <ríe> yeah. ¿Por qué? Ve vean esto, chicos. Eh, analicen la pregunta. Jeff, when the, par when the party start, ok? Esa es una direct question en una, con WH question en present way, ¿verdad? Ok. Guys, ¿cuál es el auxiliary que estamos usando ahí? ¿Quién? Mm -hmm. No, when does the party start? Ahí, en esa. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál es el auxiliary? When. When. when, is, when. Un, no, when es una WH question, ¿se recuerdan? Es un WH. En esa pregunta, when does the party start? En esa pregunta, ¿cuál es el auxiliary? El verbo auxiliar. Uh, does. Does. Muy bien. ¿Y el verbo principal? Start. 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 Very good. Cuando lo pasamos a Andrew Way, 
O sea, miren, así como pasa con, con la just no question, pasa también con el doublet question. Pasa, ponemos, can you ask, Jeff? O en la segunda, could you ask, Sofía, ¿verdad? Pero ven qué pasa en la parte de la land way. ¿Qué pasa con el does? ¿Se usa no, o no se usa? Disappears. disappears, completely disappears. ¿Y qué va a pasar? Pero como tiene que ver concordancia entre Jeff y el verbo principal, que es start, ¿qué hago con el start? In the third person. Exactly, in the third person. Entonces, aparte de que usted añade, añade could you ask Jeff o could you ask Sofía, cuando usted usa el indirect question, y, es, y ha sido una WH question, presente usando el does o el do, usted lo traslada y quita el auxiliary, pero el verbo lo tiene que transformar para que haya concordancia con el sujeto. ¿Está ok? ¿Estamos bien así? Uh -huh. ¿Quién dice? Ash. Le, miren ¿May I try, miss? Yeah, you can try. Go ahead, sir. I create the sentence that you you use can and if. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. This example is: Can you tell to me to my neighbor if you can turn off the radio? Very good. Okay. There's another one. Yeah, that's good. That's a really good one. Very good, Neftali. Okay, or, go ahead. I'll listen to you. Could could you ask to my teacher mm -hmm. if I have another question? <laughs> Very good. That's a good one as well. All righty, guys. I will send it to you. Um, a writing exercise, okay, for you to practice. Basically, this exercise it will be like if you have to rewrite the sentences. Use it, all of them are in the indirect way, and you gotta transform them into indirect one. Okay, let me send it to you and just let me know if you receive it. Did you receive it? Yeah, yes. yeah. so this is what I, you would like to do. You need to practice them right now, writing that will be your homework for tomorrow. That will be the first thing that I'm gonna ask. Okay, all of them are direct way, and you need to transform it into indirect way, but. Please double check the verbs, double check the structure, because depends on that if they're using imperatives, if it's just no, if it's WH, you have to transform it in different way if you're talking about indirect requests, okay? So that's why I send you the chart. It will be like your guidelines, and this is going to be for tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you okay. so much for being in class. I know guys that some of you are sick, like Jose, Maybe you're tired, like um, no, Umberto is on vacation. That's, that's not fair. Okay. Oh, Eduardo, Patty, Neftali, Michelle, Adela, Olguita. I know. But I'm really happy every time that I see you, you know? Because, hey, yeah, those are my students. Yeah. Because basically, it shows your commitment. And that's what I really love. There are some topics that you like. There are some topics like, oh, my goodness. But there's something that you need to know. Definitely. Okay. So maybe tomorrow you will have more energy because it will be our last class. Okay. Yeah. For the week, of course. And it will be much better. Okay. Okay, guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye. Thank you. Okay, good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Say hi to the, to the baby dog. You too. Bye bye.